Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with the blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. This is a video all about the Apple Watch, more specifically the Apple Watch strap band and bracelets that are available for 2015. This is sort of the initial set of all the stuff. This is pretty much all of them that are available. There's a few color versions of various straps that are not here, um, but I am proud to sort of show you all the different versions of the straps. We're going to play around with them and I'll make some recommendations and reviews. So as you know, there are, you know, the Apple calls them bands. So there's bands you can buy with the Apple Watch and there's bands that you can buy separately. Of course, you can buy as many bands as you want. The idea of owning a watch that has interchangeable um, bands or bracelets or whatever is so that you change it. And so the idea isn't just to get one bracelet or one band and then just live with it. The idea is to get different ones, not only for style reasons, but also because they, they're, they're good for different situations. The most popular one is going to be the sport band. And this is an amazing material that I've really enjoyed a lot. It's very versatile. Apple did an extremely nice job with the material. It fits comfortably. Of course, these are inspired very directly by the work of Mark Newsom that created um, rubber straps of this nature uh, for iCopod. And I have to say, having experience with the iCopod straps and the Apple ones, Apple definitely improved upon them, even though the concept is the same. How did Apple improve upon them? Well, for one thing, it's this material. I think Apple calls it a <clears throat> fluoroelastomer or something like that. It's not rubber. It's not quite normal plastic. It's some special exotic blend, which um, is great. And I'll tell you one of the reasons why I like this material a lot. First of all, it's comfortable and you can sweat in it. You can wear it very snugly on your wrist. You can, I'm gonna wear, I'm gonna wear the 38 one now just to show you. You can wear it very comfortably on your wrist. Um, you can clean it, so if it gets dirty, um, it's, it stretches a little bit, so if you wanna wear it a little bit too tight, you can. Um, if you wanna wear it not too loose, you want, I mean, not too tight, you wanna wear it a little bit loose, it's got a little grip to it. Um, so it's, it's snug when you need it to be, but it's also, you know, you can wear it a little bit looser and there's a lot of adjustability. One thing that makes it a little bit of a hassle is the fact that when you go ahead and, and put it on the first time when you wear it during the day, you gotta, gotta do this little thing where you, you pull with your finger. It's not like a normal watch strap that you, you have in the loop before you secure it. But then you just sort of, you, you buckle that part in here, you put this thing in here. Now, just this little piece is securing it, and it, it might sort of, th you might think that's a little flimsy to begin with, but it's really very secure, um, and they did a nice job. And again, the, the sport band comes in a range of colors, probably more colors will come soon. There's the black, there's the white, there's the blue, there's, I guess it's coral. It's somewhere between red and orange. It's coral. Um, and there's, of course, the green, which is cool. I, I am really looking forward to Apple coming out with a lot more of these straps. Even if you have one, I think there's something really fun about getting a bunch of straps. And what's also cool is being able to mix it up a little bit. So, for example, let's say I wanted to wear the black one, but I could do half black and... Um, and half green. So I could I could do this type of combination that I think would look pretty cool if you wanted just to have both of them and you wanted to put it on a watch. So let's let's take a watch right here and let's do it where we go ahead and we have an opportunity to um, change it up here. So here we go. Let's put in our green side and our black side. All right. So there we have a green and black watch you could you could obviously switch it up any way you wanted to this is a slightly too large for my wrist um sport band but you get the idea here i've actually never done this before let's see the the green and black that's actually kind of cool that's kind of cool where you have uh both of the colors there um you could see green on this side people looking at you could see uh black um that's neat. I actually, I actually like that. And that's something you can do. Of course, you can't buy the pieces individually, but you could very easily have a situation where you um, just get two of the bracelets um, and you are able to do that. So that's the, that's the sport band. That's the most popular one. If you have an Apple Watch, you need to have one of these straps. Um, 
even if you don't intend on wearing this a lot, if you, if you want to have any sport purposes with this timepiece, um, you're gonna or this smartwatch, you're gonna have to go ahead and and use this type of strap because this is the best one. And it's 50 bucks. It's the it's the cheapest one they offer, and I recommend having one of these. And like I said, um, it's washable, which I've done, and, and that works out really well. Okay, so that's this that's a sport band. Let's let's move it up to the to the next the next strap, and it's actually. One of my favorites, this is kind of an unsung hero, and they call it the classic buckle. And the reason they call it the classic buckle is it uses um, a traditional style of buckle um, that if you've ever worn a watch, you've probably seen one of these before. Um, and it's like, a, it's like, it's essentially like a belt buckle. It's very secure. Um, this, this loop here has been created kind of this round loop. Uh, Apple's done that, that's kind of neat. And so let's see what that looks like on a watch. I have here the, uh, the Apple Watch Edition. Uh, which has a gold version of the classic buckle. The leather that Apple uses is very impressive. These are these are these are real leather, um, and it's it feels very nice. There's a nice texture to it. It almost feels actually it, it feels like so durable. It almost feels like an artificial leather, but it's not. So there's there's the the classic buckle there um, in blue, and of course here it is in in, in black. Um, the, this, this is a no stitched design. It has what's called rolled edges there, um, where the edges are, this is, it's, a clean, it's a clean seam here. There's no other color. There's no stitching or anything like that. Um, actually, this is not rolled, I'm, I'm sorry. R rolled is a, is a slightly different technique, but, but, it, but sometimes they call the, the sides rolled because it's a little bit curved and it's sealed on the side. So it's a nice clean look. It's a good durable material. You know, leather straps have kind of reputation of wearing out after a while. And these probably will, but um, I have to say, it, it feels like, like Apple did what's necessary. At the end of the strap is actually a, a little loop. It's a lug bar. And so you have this articulation here where this moves up and down. So what you have with the classic buckle is actually one of the best fits. This is a very, very comfortable fit. This is a very, very secure uh, strap. This isn't gonna loosen. So next to the sport band, the classic buckle is actually one of my favorites and I think a little bit of an unsung hero. It's kind of so simple and ordinary. Some people might overlook it you know, in favor of some of Apple's more interesting um, straps and, and, and bracelet options. But the, the classic buckle is great. There's also something called the modern buckle and that only is produced for the 38 millimeter size, and this is it. Um, this also has a gold version as well. And what I like about this is sort of how it works and how, uh, how nifty it is. So there's two sides of this buckle that completely opens up, and it uses magnets to attach. So you can see there that it, it uses magnets to close all the way. You don't have to finagle it looking for the right spot, and, and, I, and I appreciate that a lot. Um, once it's closed, it's totally secure. Underneath, it has this nice kind of elegant look and this design right here, which really mimics the case shape um, of the Apple Watch, which I think is really cool. You have the same type of lug system here, so you have all that articulation so that it wears very comfortably. You do have some micro um, adjustability here on the inside. You can see there's a little bit, but like as is the case with most of the uh, bands, you have to get the one which is the right size for your wrist. So I think there's usually like a small, medium, and large option, um, or there's at least uh, two size options. So choose the size accordingly. You don't want to be in a situation where the strap or band you get for your Apple Watch is, is too big or too small. So the, the, the modern buckle is really cool. Unfortunately, they only make it for the smaller 38 millimeter size. So if, if primarily for women, um, if you're a guy and you want one of these, Maybe Apple will create a version like this in the future, maybe not, but the, the modern buckle is, is definitely cool. And from an engineering perspective, I really like how well they were able to do that. Sticking with leather, we have something called the leather loop. Now this is a very interesting type of strap, and this is probably the most innovative when it comes to the types of straps that have existed in the past in the watch world. And Apple did a really good job of being heavily influenced by the watch world and in terms of what they did. So, I believe this is the version which is a little bit too long for my wrist because I need I need the small medium one for 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 the 42. But I'm going to sort of throw it on the uh, this is the black version of the Apple Watch Sport. So this is the matte finished uh, aluminum case. There is of course the steel version, and the difference between the steel version and the aluminum version is the finishing. So the steel version in the sort of space black is polished, whereas this aluminum one has a matte finish. Just, uh, just a little something to note if you're curious what the differences were. Okay, so let's, 
Uh, and also, by the way, when you put the, the bracelet on, you'll, you'll tell that this little part here is different. And so this little empty space here, as you can see, is supposed to coordinate with where the little um, button on the bottom is supposed to be here. Pretty much if you've you know, worn the Apple Watch for any amount of time, you become an expert on, on switching out uh, the straps. So here we go. You can quickly turn the Apple Watch Sport, especially the black one, into a little bit more of a sophisticated, you know, maybe evening watch just by changing out the strap. And so that's, that's actually kind of cool. This, this particular strap is a little finicky because what you need to do is you have to actually find that little hole and then you adjust it. This one's going to be too big on me, so you'll see what's going to happen. Now there's magnets all the way across here. So there's magnet, 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 and then it goes like this. Now here's the problem again. It's too big. That's what happens if it's too big. Um, but I guess you can just sort of generally get an idea for what this looks like. So this is a $150 option. Pretty much all of the bands are $149, pretty much $150. So the sport band is 50 bucks. This one is 150 bucks. And a lot of them are 150 bucks. This one's 150 bucks, the classic buckle. Um, uh, this one, this one's a leather loop. The classic buckle is 150 bucks. The Milanese is 150 bucks. Um, I'd say the most popular price point for uh, the bands is 150 bucks. That probably sounds like a lot to most people who are not used to buying watch straps, and, and even in the world of watch straps, it, it could be a lot. But I have to say that, given high quality watch straps, it is competitively priced. The quality is definitely there, and if you do buy a third-party product um, when those types of things are available, I'm not really sure that you'll get the same kind of experience. So the leather loop is interesting, but one of the things about the leather loop that you have to realize, and I'll show you here, um, and this goes for all the sort of magnetic products, you know, Apple really likes their magnets apparently, is if you pull it hard enough, you can, you can loosen the strap. And so from a sporting perspective, if you want to have something which is really going to stick on your, on your wrist um, very snugly and not loosen, it's not necessarily worried about it falling off, but it's about loosening and that could be annoying. Um, the leather loop is probably not going to be your best option. Neither is the, the Milanese uh, loop. Now the Milanese loop is another beautiful, very attractive looking bracelet, definitely more on the formal side. One of the things I like about this one, it's actually very similar in concept to the leather loop, except it's, it's metal, is you can see there, that's the end lug, and it's, it's held on there. So no matter what, even if this thing comes undone, the Apple Watch, if you're wearing it on the Milanese loop, will not fall off your wrist. And that's, that's definitely a positive. So let's Let's put this one on here. I'll show you what this looks like on the wrist. I gotta say, I've been switching out Apple Watch straps for so long, it's become like second nature. So, so again, going back to magnets, and again, I might've put, yeah, I guess it's not the wrong way. So you can see there, and you just put it on your wrist, and you get it as tight as you want or as loose as you want. So that's, that's about good. Looks really great with the Apple Watch with the steel case. Just a sort of nice overall look there. Has, it's, it's modern, it's elegant. Milanese metal, also known as mesh metal bracelets, have been around for a while. These are not new, and I was really happy to see that Apple incorporated as one of the, the band options for the Apple Watch. So again, it uses magnets here. There's just one magnet here, which is, which is right here um, at, the, at the end of the, the, the strap. Um, you're gonna put it on that way. But again, if you pull hard enough, it can loosen. So again, for sporting purposes, um, I would recommend one of the other straps, such as a sport band or the classic buckle. Things like the Milanese loop are going to be a little bit better in situations when you want to have something that, that looks nice. Um, and I really like a Apple's innovation and simplicity. Um, I, I wish there was sort of maybe a way for them to add um, some type of security feature here so this doesn't loosen, because um, that would definitely be a little bit of a help. Okay, so so talking about the the Milanese loop really is the perfect segue into the into the actual bracelets um, which is this one here and this is the black version it's known as the link bracelet and this is probably the most impressive um, bracelet I've seen in a long time I, I've said that before Apple did a lot of really good things here now from a stylistic perspective you can see how nicely it integrates with the case it looks like a very modern, futuristic product on the wrist when you wear this. Every time I, every time I wear um, the Apple Watch on the Link bracelet, for some reason I think of like Back to the Future 
and like other sort of like 80s science fiction things. So this looked like something that would definitely fit um, within that era. Sizing this bracelet and wearing this bracelet is also part of the cleverness. It's not just how it looks. You can see here what's called the deployant clasp and this sort of opens and closes to allow you to take it on and off. And when it's closed, it's, ex it's flush. It's almost, it's almost exact same thickness as the bracelet links themselves. And that's amazing. There's very little of that actually going on in the watch industry. Most deployant clasps are, are twice as thick, if not more, but Apple is able to engineer in a way so that all these little folding pieces, this is actually called a butterfly style deployment because it opens up like two little wings. They call it butterfly style. And once it's closed, you have to push the ends here. They're called pushers to unlock it. And so you can wear it. In terms of sizing it, there's a little button on the back. You just push it and you open it up. And that's also how you take off links. So I can put my little finger, my, my fingernail in there. I just pulled off two links and then I can reconnect it without these parts here and make it smaller. And that's brilliant. You need no tools. It's very simple to do. Um, and it just works very, very well. So there we go. I've, re I've reattached it and I can just reattach it right there. Now the, the link bracelet is the most expensive bracelet option. It's the most expensive one that's available. And, and you can only buy separately the, the steel version here, the brush steel. It's 450 bucks or about 450, 449. Um, you cannot buy separately the, the black version. It's really kind of a dark gray. Um, you can only buy it with the steel version or the black steel version of the Apple Watch. So, so some of these, uh, these straps and bands you can purchase independently. Some you cannot. It really depends um, how it works. And so the, the, whole, the whole sort of purchase process is first you choose the case you want. And then there are some available straps um, just sort of available by default. And then once you do that, you have to choose what your size is. Then you look to see sort of like what other types of accessory um, straps you want, for example, um, like a sport band. You should always have a sport band. So I sort of, I think that everyone should have a sport band or some type of sporty uh, strap for their Apple Watch as well as sort of a more formal one like the Link Bracelet, like the Milanese, like the Leather Loop, um, wh whatever you choose is good for you. Um, as you can see, the Link Bracelet is also available for the smaller 38 millimeter tall um, Apple Watch. There's two different sizes of that, um, which, is, which is interesting. Um, in terms of interchangeability, you know, Assuming the, the strap is for the right size, 38 or 42, you can put anything on any case. So for example, I'm taking off um, the sport band from the 38 millimeter um, Apple Watch Sport and I wanna put on here for example is the classic buckle and I can do that. Now, one of the things that you'll notice is the hardware isn't exactly the same. You have a polished lug bar there and you have this matte aluminum case and it doesn't look exactly the same. But you know what? I think it looks fine. I think if this is a watch that you want to have, you want the, the sport version and you want to get um, the, the, the classic buckle for it, that's fine. And I think, I think it looks actually quite nice like that. So mixing and matching is something that you can definitely do a lot. Um, with these watches and and that's sort of the point and not a lot of people have necessarily spoken about that But I think that you would sort of not get the full experience um, Of the Apple watch if you weren't sort of switching out the straps on a regular basis You know most watches don't make it this easy to switch out the straps You often need a tool and if you don't need a tool um, You know, there's usually proprietary things with limited options. So again, here is the Apple watch Sport the 38 on the Milanese loop Actually kind of a cool look. So even though there's a slight difference in finishing between the hardware, it actually doesn't look bad together. You see that polished element mixed with um, the matte finish. It, it doesn't actually look bad. And I think that if you um, have the aluminum version of the Apple Watch but are interested in a steel bracelet, for example, I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. It's, it's going to look fine. One of, the, one of the coolest things, I think, is to take um, the black versions of the Apple Watch or the Apple Watch Sport and pair them with some of the more colorful versions of the strap. So let me put here, this is the Apple Watch Sport with the, in the black aluminum with the band. That actually looks kind of cool. You have this black case, it's matte black. And what I, what, the reason I, I like it with the Sport band is because the band itself also has a matte finish to it. 
That's actually kind of cool. Let's see what that looks like on the wrist. That's actually not bad at all. And that would also look good with the blue as well. You can, we can see, put that together here. That would look very, very nice. Anyway, so um, I hope that I've covered the majority of things related to the Apple Watch band experience. You can see there's a fair number of options. Um, not everyone is good for every purpose. All of them are of a high quality. Um, I think that the best all around one is the sport, the sport band. The most innovative and sort of modern looking is the link bracelet. Um, I'd say sort of the, the underdog hero in terms of comfort and design and quality is the classic buckle. Um, again, it's not the most exciting one when you look at it, you're like, oh, I've seen straps like that. But um, this one is really difficult to be disappointed in. The Milanese one is sort of um, an acquired taste in the sense that you have to like the core look of it, but there's actually very few Milanese um, you know, straps, even on the watch market that are better than this, that, that I would recommend. This is a great all around one. And for the price, it's actually not bad at all. Um, the most interesting leather um, sort of band is this one, which is the leather loop um, with the magnets. It looks cool and it has interesting wearing experience. For women, a really great version is the modern buckle. So if you like um, leather straps and you have the 38 case, man or woman, um, the modern buckle is cool. And this is actually the second most expensive one. This one is $250. And again, I'm not even talking about the addition prices. This isn't steel. So these go from 50 bucks for the sport band. Um, the Milanese and all the leather ones are 150 bucks. Modern buckle is 250 bucks. And the link bracelet is about 450 bucks. Um, so that's a, that's a, that's a nice range. Um, again, there are more expensive and less expensive versions of the bands, but I think overall there's a lot of great stuff and you should definitely explore, uh, uh, you know, swapping it out and, and checking out new ones. Um, you can see more about all these interesting Apple watch bands on a blog to watch. Thanks. Mm -hmm.